Hello everyone, my name is Greg Jensen. I am the Director of Senior Design here at Purdue Mechanical Engineering. We are here today to recognize our graduating seniors as they complete the final capstone project of their undergraduate career here at Purdue. As part of the ME 463 Senior Design class, students team up to create prototype projects and processes, continually refining and improving them using the knowledge from their engineering courses over the first four years. At the end of the semester, the students present their final prototypes to a panel of Purdue ME alumni who work in various industries and this panel selects the award-winning teams. Originally, this room would be jam-packed with people and projects and posters and we'd all have a chance to look at the projects everyone has been working on. Obviously, we can't do this in 2020. But in these extraordinary times, I want to say it's really extraordinary how our seniors have adapted to working and collaborating online. And in the midst of these trying circumstances, they have produced some really amazing senior design projects. And today, we recognize those who have been chosen as the most innovative. We call these the Malat Innovation Awards because they are supported by an endowment created in 2007 by Thomas J. Malat. Tom graduated from Purdue ME in 1962 and received an honorary doctorate in 2002. He has been involved one way or another with every senior design class since then. And we'll hear what he has to say about this year's class at the end of the ceremony. Before we get to the awards, I personally want to thank everyone who has been involved in this process, especially since it has turned upside down because of the pandemic. I want to give special recognition to our faculty who had to completely transform the way they taught all of their classes in the span of just about a week. They have done heroic duty and we applaud their efforts in this extremely unique time. Now let's talk about our projects. This semester, we had 49 total projects, most of them created by teams of four to six students, as well as some of our racing and competition teams. We narrowed this down to 12 teams, each of whom recorded a spoken presentation about their prototype and project accompanied by a PowerPoint and supplementary documents. Then we organized a panel of judges, most of them Purdue ME alum now working in industry. These judges volunteered to watch all of these presentations and rank them based on innovation, technical excellence, value and usability, challenge and professional quality of the presentation. The top three will be announced to you shortly and we will also be sharing these presentations on our website so you can see the ideas that everyone came up with just like we would normally do here in person. The judges themselves wanted to comment on the winning projects and I am happy to give them the floor now. First off, we have a special engineering award given to a team whose engineering processes really stood out from the others. To present this award is one of our judges, David Swin. David got his BS ME from Purdue in 1996 and is now the vice president of the Body and Design Division at Toyota Motors North America Research and Development based in York Township, Michigan. Take it away, David. 
this team took a a problem uh, which uh, many labs I'm sure face and uh, came up with engineering solutions and made various changes throughout their design. I was really impressed by their ability to solve multiple problems and come up with uh, unique solutions. And because of this, the winner of the best engineering award is Team STEAM. Congratulations, Team STEAM. This group tackled a unique problem how to affix probes and measurement devices to the inside of an annular wind tunnel, allowing them to move but not degrade the performance of the wind tunnel. They engineered a reliable solution that provided better airproof performance and more accurate measurements in annular motion depth and rotation. Once again, congratulations Team STEAM for winning our special engineering award. Next up, third place in our innovation awards. To present this award is one of our judges, Mary Helmick. Mary got her BS ME from Purdue in 1986 and after a 30-year career at Texas Instrument recently retired as manager of the Standard Linear and Logic Packaging Group. Take it away, Mary. This team did a great job of capturing all the requirements and turning them into solid specifications that they could then design around. Um, they did a virtual prototyping and came up with a design that I think could really turn into a real product. We might be seeing them on Shark Tank soon. Uh, the third place uh, team winner is Team Sarah. Congratulations, team. Sarah stands for Sleep Aid Ready for Airplanes. This team created a mattress topper designed to elevate the head for people with sleep apnea. But the twist, so to speak, is they created it with this unique origami pattern. So it folds down and fits inside a piece of carry-on luggage. Congratulations to Team Sarah for winning third place in the Malat Innovation Award. Speaking of a twist, we have a unique situation for the next award. There are two projects that demonstrated outstanding innovation and our judges couldn't decide between them. So they both are receiving first place awards. Which teams are they? First, let's hear from Judge Steve Citadine. Steve finished his BSME from Purdue in 1983 and went on to an MBA from the University of Chicago. He currently provides independent consulting services to the energy industry along with advisory services to a venture capital firm. Steve, who is our first place team? This team provided a creative, innovative, well-engineered solution to a real-world health care issue. A first prize is awarded to First Access. Congratulations, team First Access. This team created a medical device, a smart tool for first access in laparoscopic procedures. By using engineering principles, they hope to reduce surgeon fatigue and reduce the complications that happen in these surgical procedures. Congratulations, Team First Access. Now who else has received a first place prize? Let's find out from Kimberly Blue. Kimberly received her BSME from Purdue in 1992 and also finished a law degree from the University of Houston. She is now an intellectual property attorney for Schlumberger, an oil field service company. Kimberly, tell us who won first place. This team had an innovation for a compelling social issue. Um, they saw a market need and 
clearly articulated the problem as well as developed uh, solutions, several solutions to those problems. And one of our first places is, goes to Cooler. Congratulations to the Cooler, created by Team Accessibility. The Cooler is a reimagined refrigerator designed to be used by people in wheelchairs or scooters. By surveying real world users, the team refined three key user experiences opening the door, the swing of the door, and reaching the top, back, and bottom of each shelf. For this, the cooler receives first place in the Malat Innovation Award. Congratulations to them and to all the seniors who have worked so hard on their capstone projects. We see your hard work and we applaud the efforts you put in to your final class here at Purdue. Now, our final word comes from Tom Malott, the name behind the Malott Innovation Award. Tom is a former president and CEO of Siemens Energy and Automation. He graduated from Purdue ME in 1962 and received an honorary doctorate in 2002. Let's hear what Tom has to say about this year's class. Well, I know all of the students here are probably very happy that the semester is coming to an end, as well as the faculty for the hard work they've done. I'd like to congratulate uh, the winners. I can tell you that of the 12 projects that we all reviewed. They were all very, very good. And I'll tell you that the judges struggled uh, to come up with the final choices. We probably spent an hour and a half debating the various points, but I think uh, came to the appropriate conclusion. And I'd sincerely like to thank the students and the faculty for taking what started out as a disastrous occurrence and in a very short time adjusting to the new environment and developing a very comprehensive uh, approach to finish the semester. I know what kind of work it went into it. It was had to have been around the clock. The students I'm sure were disappointed to learn uh, that the semester was broken up and that you missed a portion of what I think many of the students look forward to in taking 463. But what you learn in life that planning is great and all of us engineers are unfortunately uh, some ways uh, uh, blessed with the ability to plan, plan, plan. But what you find in life that uh, you can uh, expect things to happen, but you better really expect unexpected to happen. And I think you probably learned more about that adjustment in this semester than you possibly could imagine. And I think you'll find that skill will do you well in success in life. And finally, I do hope, and that was a reason all this was started, that you have least out of the semester uh, had a good idea uh, of understanding how innovation is important to our society and to the world, and hope that many of you go down that path of being good innovators. Thank you all and wish you a good next step in your life. Thank you, Tom. I also want to take this opportunity to thank Tom's daughter and son-in-law, Jennifer and Ken Cotillo, for sitting in on the judging and helping to guide this process every year. And finally, I want to thank another one of our judges, A.J. Mashi, who just joined our faculty as the R 
Eugene and Susan E. Goodson, Distinguished Professor of Mechanical Engineering. Well, folks, that just about does it for the most unique Malat Innovation Awards in history. Congratulations once again to all of our graduating seniors. You have worked so hard in such unusual circumstances. And what's important to remember is that you've made it. You've achieved your goal in completing a Purdue degree. And we couldn't be more proud of you. Thanks once again to our volunteer judges and to the faculty who have mentored these teams throughout the semester. Extra congratulations to our winning teams. And as a reminder, you can watch their presentations on our website, purdue.edu slash me. Thanks to all of you for joining us and boiler up. <laughs>